Welcome back to RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. The ball is one of the oldest toys known to man, and thanks to the Orbotics Sphero, it's finally been updated for the 21st century. I first saw Sphero at the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show and was instantly impressed. I've always wanted a radio-controlled sphere, but the simple fact is that it's an extremely difficult thing to build. The amount of math and innovation involved is staggering. Sphero isn't simply a smartphone-controlled ball. He's a precision micro-robot and a next-generation video game platform all-in-one. You control Sphero with your iOS or Android smartphone using your Bluetooth connection, giving you a range of about 50 yards. It's very reliable, and I think it's a great way to remotely control a vehicle. When it comes to driving, I can honestly say that I have never driven anything that is as precise as Sphero. You really have to try it to understand just how precise it can be. It's the only vehicle I've ever seen that can literally turn on a dime. I was immediately hooked the second I tried him out, and I haven't stopped playing with him since. The way Sphero works is very elegant. Inside the polycarbonate shell is a micro-robot with two wheels that touch the surface of the sphere. The robot weighs down the bottom of the sphere, keeping it from rolling away, and when the wheels move, the robot climbs up the shell, changing the center of gravity, causing the ball to start rolling forward. Once you get some momentum, the shell acts like a giant tire, and it can bounce over all types of obstacles and terrain. It can even roll uphill. To turn, the robot uses its wheels to spin and bank inside the shell, and it can turn in any direction instantly. The thing casting the shadow on the inside of the shell is a spring-loaded piece of plastic that pushes against the top of the shell to keep pressure on the tires. The shadow also lets you know which way Sphero is facing. The thing that really makes Orbotics special is their stabilization software and robotics operating system. Sphero is equipped with a 3-axis potentiometer and a gyro that can send data through their proprietary stabilization software that can determine where Sphero is and which way it needs to face at any time. Because of this, Sphero is able to use one of the best control systems I've ever seen in an RC vehicle, a true video game style joystick. Since it's a ball, there's no front or back, so it can travel in any direction at any time. It's like Marble Madness or one of those tilt maze games. Left is always left, and right is always right. Even if you twist, spin, or bounce the ball around, it still knows which way is forward. The precision is amazing, and it allows you to drive in ways that no RC car can. You can find your way through some complex mazes easily, and you can drive it into places that you've never been able to drive before. All you have to do is aim it and tell it which way you want forward to be, and you're ready to drive. I've spent countless hours just driving it through the house and loving it. The different apps have some fun and constantly evolving functions. For example, the main Sphero app can be used to throw Sphero in any direction and have it come back to where it started. It can even update Sphero's firmware. The latest update really improved the driving and turning, and I was happy that Orbotics is actively improving Sphero with firmware. It also has voice control that allows you to change colors, change color, change color drive around, and open the draw and drive function, and you can even turn Sphero into a magic 8-ball. Is Sphero like a magic 8-ball? There is a newer version of the app that also allows you to program your boost button to do different things like cause Sphero to flash and do figure eights. But the newest thing for Sphero is augmented reality gaming. Orbotics just released their first AR app for Sphero called Sharky the Beaver. It's a nice example of what Sphero is doing in the world of augmented reality. Instead of using printed markers, it actually uses Sphero as the marker and overlays an interactive digital beaver over it. You can throw him cupcakes and you'll actually chase after them. And it even recognizes the floor and the lighting in whatever room you're in. It's completely free, but at the moment Sharky the Beaver is only compatible with higher-end iPhones and iPads because of the complexity of compositing a digital character in real time over a video stream while simultaneously controlling and tracking a Sphero. Orbotics will be releasing the Augmented Reality SDK next year, so you'll be able to develop your own games for Sphero. 
The type of game I'm looking forward to would be something like one I've been dreaming up that I like to call Sphero Smash. It's a pretty simple concept, and we'll probably see a few apps like it. Drive Sphero around and crush tanks, robots, and soldiers, while dodging small arms fire from a castle that you have to smash down. You could collect power-ups to help smash everything and collect upgrades for your Sphero like better performance or spikes and flames. The virtual pet and gaming opportunities are pretty extensive, and the fact that you can even use Sphero as a controller means you can do much more with it than just drive. But driving it is amazingly fun. I can't begin to describe how much fun it really is. Nothing else compares to it. I like the control you have over its speed and direction, and the fact that it's so precise and stable. And you can even adjust the speed, rotation, and boost settings to fit your driving style. I personally like to increase the rotation rates for quicker turning. Its highest speed is a little faster than walking speed, and its slower speeds allow for great precision control. The shell is completely sealed so you can actually drive it around on water. I found that it actually drives really well on water and has no trouble moving or turning. It's actually a lot of fun on calm water and definitely something worth trying. The shell is so strong that Orbotics even shot a Sphero with a shotgun and it survived. Because the shell is sealed, there's no on or off switch or charging port, so to turn it on you simply shake it and to charge it, you just set it on its wireless induction charging base. You can also reset it by spinning a magnet around it. The fact that it uses induction to wirelessly charge is a really cool and new solution in the RC world, and I commend Orbotics for pulling it off. The only gripe I have is if you leave it on the charger, it keeps the ball warm even after it's finished charging. Orbotics says on their website that it is normal and to just leave your Sphero on the base after charging, but I usually take it off when it's finished. When it comes to drive time, you actually get about an hour of solid drive time per charge, and it takes about three hours to recharge completely, but Orbotic says it's okay to pull it off the charger mid-charge and drive it around, so you rarely find yourself waiting for it to recharge. The amount of things you can do with the Sphero is amazing. The AR gaming is revolutionary, and there are all types of little things like making a giant foam Sphero that you can easily do at home. I've had more fun with my Sphero than I've had with any other ball in the past few decades. The sheer joy of driving it around is something that I just never get tired of. I really enjoy it and I'm looking forward to all the new apps that Orbotics and others will come up with. You can pick one up online from GhostSphero.com or you can get one at Brookstone, the Apple Store, or Target for around $129.99. You'll also need an Android or iOS smartphone to drive it, but it's well worth it. You'll spend more time driving your Sphero than you will any other RC vehicle in your collection. Its bright internal RGB light allows you to drive in the dark and change its glow to any color of the rainbow, and the precision control allows you to drive in places and ways that you've never been able to before. It works great on carpet or bricks, smooth and rough terrain, even in the water. It's the only RC vehicle that I've never had to go get up and go get because of a crash or because of getting it stuck somewhere. It's great fun, and now every room is a giant, real-world Sphero video game level full of fun obstacles and challenges to overcome. Sphero really is a new gaming and RC experience, and I think you should definitely check it out. It's perfect for kids of all ages, and I want to give Orbotics a very special thanks for letting us test it out. Check them out at GhostSphero.com to learn more. We absolutely love Sphero, and we think you will too. Thanks for watching RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. Subscribe and stay tuned for more.